Madis hasiyat. Ee, sonu da sonu gelinceye kadar Madis bir söz vereceğim. Ee, Sayın Madis Hasiyat Talin, Teknoloji Üniversitesi Kamyonik Bölümünden işletme yüksek lisans derecesiyle mezun olmuştur. Estonya İş Okulunda halkla ilişkiler ve pazarlama alanlarında eğitim almıştır. Astatel firmasında bölüm müdürü, EITS de kurul üyesi, referent ve Focus IT firmalarında yönetici olarak görev yapmıştır. Halen ITL, Estonya Yönetim Kurulu Üyesi, ITS, Estonya Başkanı ve Estonya Go Sivil Satış, Satış Direktörü ve Yönetim Kurulu Üyesi olarak çalışmalarına devam etmektedir. Zeyna Nazer, ITS ülke uygulamaları konusunda görüşleriyle bizimle paylaşacaktır. Madis Bey. Yes, thank you. Well, I will just carve that uh, topic at the moment without any slides, but I will try to do it as, as fast as I can and uh, coming from, from my heart. So uh, in this sense, I really uh, admire the Turkish uh, ITS community that you have achieved already. It is uh, really something that uh, I, I uh, admire and uh, and uh, see that you have been uh, very advanced in all of those uh, technologies. Uh, in Estonia, we have this kind of, uh, uh, kind of a di digital society. Uh, I, I can say that there is only 1.3 million of people, so you can imagine it's like, like uh, one clock of, uh, in your city. So it's a very, very small country in the sense by the capital, but still we try to be as efficient as possible and that's why we try to use the digital kind of uh, technologies as much as we can. So uh, uh, we, we have uh, kind of uh, some of those um, things that uh, are in Estonia quite usual, but not in, in everywhere else, but I can tell you some of them. So first of all, like, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, it's, it's something which can be remarked here that, uh, for example, internet as a thing is social right in Estonia. Everyone can use it or should have some sort of a connection every time, every then. And, and we have uh, all of those uh, possibilities to, uh, to get uh, internet uh, connected. We have uh, uh, coverage of... Uh, uh, mobile networks everywhere, and the broadband is also almost everywhere, and there is uh, 5G coming up uh, quite, quite um, uh, uh, quickly, I believe. There is uh, electronic ID for each of the citizen, so each of the citizen has a sort of a, uh, possibility to identify himself or herself by the uh, mobile phone or through the uh, uh, some other means, so in this sense it's uh, very easy to protect the uh, kind of uh, personal data and uh, also to identify who is uh, getting the access to some of the data and also to track who is having the uh, watched sort of the data. There is also uh, a kind of a thing that 99% of uh, public services are online so uh, there is only three services which you need to go to the place. One is to get married, one is to get divorced, and one is to buy the real estate. So those things are kind of things which at the moment still are uh, not uh, in online, but uh, we are uh, struggling to do it. <laughs> In, in a way that it might be uh, usable also to, to in, in, in uh, coming up, uh, not coming up from the chair. And, and uh, Estonian people trust uh, e-government e and e-society and e-solutions. E ah, no, it's, it's working, it seems to be. Can I have the, uh, yes, the remote? Right here. So, uh, So any, anyhow, uh, what we do is uh, to um, have, have those, um, uh, yeah, we have some sort of uh, uh, principles. Uh, first of all, 
that um, uh, are, are most of uh, the thing that the, you have those things only once uh, saved or stored in one place. So we have this kind of digital background uh, that uh, each of the services uh, asking the things from the one place, uh, which is store, where it is stored. So it, the, let's say the, uh, my, my address is stored to one of the place only uh, to the population. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's very warm here. So uh, anyhow, uh, the bureaucracy is uh, one of the things what we need to uh, degree as much as possible. And now we are started uh, uh, also the kind of thing that this, uh, the way how to uh, re or, or be proactive in a way that if a person will make the deliver of born the uh, baby, then it is kind of... Uh, normal that it uh, needs to be registered in all of those uh, uh, uh, registers and the only thing what the parent needs to give uh, or say is what is the name of a baby. So that's uh, about it. So everything goes uh, seamlessly. And so it goes to until the person will be uh, going to the next, uh, let's say, uh, to the paradise or whatever is coming after, after the death. So anyhow, uh, all the life cycle will be kind of uh, analyzed and made in a way that, uh, that uh, it, it uh, makes sense to the person. So how it is achieved, we do have those uh, kind of systems behind which are working in, uh, and exchanging data very, very uh, securely which is ro uh, kind of uh, called the uh, X-Road and it means that we do have all of those uh, uh, kind of uh, systems uh, connected with each other uh, and it is kind of in distributed manner that it's not going to be uh, uh, violate any, anyhow so uh, all the time it is uh, there and it's working so um, the ITS Estonia is one of those very youngest uh, uh, networks. We do have those, uh, all the members from, uh, from uh, the, the, the public side, the minister, ministry, the uh, road administration, all of those universities, bigger cities, uh, you name it, all the uh, uh, mobile network operators. So, so we are in a way uh, very well uh, set it uh, in, in four year time. So uh, I'm, uh, I studied it uh, almost uh, four years ago and, and, and so we have been working hard to get it done in a way. So we have uh, some of the objectives like everywhere else that we do have uh, economical growth for, for, for the first one, better traffic safety, more effectiveness in each of those uh, services and for sure a sustainability, sustainable environment. And we try to uh, make it happen with new products, new solutions, which are most uh, kind of uh, new ones for, for all, all over the world. Uh, we have uh, three focus groups uh, working together all the time. One is about the uh, people, the mobility services, how to move the people from one point to another. Then there is a freight transportation and for sure the basis of that, what is uh, regarding all of those infrastructure things. We, have, uh, uh, we are a proud member of uh, ITS Nationals. Uh, uh, we were quite the same time there as the Tur ITS Turkey was. Uh, so what we have in Estonia, we have a, a very fast and uh, flexible legal system. It means that we have already made it legal the test uh, of those self-driving vehicles. We have also uh, a possibility to make the, uh, the, the tests without having the one uh, person beside the wheel. So um, we have those, uh, some of those companies which are dealing in, in international level already, uh, some of the innovative things like um, 
Volt, which is uh, like a Uber, but it is mostly working in, in Europe and Africa. There is also Starship, which uh, picture you have here, which uh, is uh, uh, kind of uh, creating the parcel robots. In Estonia, the tech savvy citizens are quite a good thing that all the new things which are, are kind of innovative, they will get to uh, use it. So, uh, for example, 90% uh, of uh, parking are, are made through the paid mobile parking since 2000 already. Then there is a huge and very good history of uh, great collaboration in, in uh, public and private sector. You see here is one of those pictures I like uh, the most as uh, it is the company I, I also work in, which is GoSwift, and we do this uh, kind of a border uh, queue management systems, which you see here that one, uh, the uh, left side picture is uh, made uh, just before we started. And the right one is after the month we, we have uh, had it. So uh, there is also okay to make the failures. Um, we, we had uh, one of those uh, in, in the public uh, uh, ticketing systems. Uh, if we didn't uh, get it done in, in, uh, in some of those cities because uh, the, the iOS system wasn't, wasn't very acceptable to, to open up the idea thing. Uh, we have uh, many of those uh, things that uh, we are, have done already that um, uh, we, we do the, those database modeling and then uh, we have achieved to get the new public transport network. Uh, infrastructure, we 5G coverage, test bed, uh, there is uh, electric charges network nationwide, fleet of self-driving buses, it's uh, kind of uh, uh, biggest in, in Europe uh, by the uh, by private capita, let's say, <laughs> not, not in a way that we are the best one. There is smart pedestrian crosswalk, uh, incident handling platform uh, by hard time, which is one of the biggest uh, blockchain companies in, in the world. And there is also the some kind of a very same uh, similar system which was uh, I, I saw here that it was it is detecting the uh, uh, problems in on, on the road and there is also the uh, kind of uh, many of strategies uh, made uh, and achieved to complete it and like I said we have uh, con consider ourselves quite strong community and, and we have some of uh, uh, things already done you can read it from the ITS Estonia uh, web page. So that's about it. Thank you. Madis Asiyat Bey'e biz de çok teşekkür ediyoruz. Öncelikle teknik ekip e, bu aksaklıklardan dolayı özür diliyor. Onu iletmek istiyorum e, konuşmacılara. E, ve e, gerçekten Estonya'yı e, sunumunuzdan dolayı e, Madis Bey'i tebrik ediyorum. Kamu özel orta, özel işbirliği, kamu özel sektör işbirliğinde e, Estonya'yı ne kadar bu alanda öne bütündüklerini görüyoruz ve etrafındaki ülkelere teknoloji ihraç eden bir e, ülkeye dönüşmüş, dönüştürmüş durumları Estonya, Estonya'yı. Tabi bu alanda öncü olmuşlar. E, gerçekten e, sizden bu konuda öğreneceğimiz çok şey var. 